But first, our top story. KXAN investigates after a growing number of Central Texas families are getting ready to sue after some of our hailstorms. You expect what your money's worth. You expect them to do the job. And you don't expect them to start another business. They're going after a roofing company out of New Braunfels. They say ownership changes have cost them thousands of dollars. KXAN's Arzo Dost investigates. Yeah, but I kind of want that down. It's not very pretty, is it? It's an eyesore. He patched the hole that they were supposed to fix. The Feltons hoped to get fixed long ago. If you pull up the um, nails. The roof was damaged after a hailstorm in April of 2016. The couple made a deal with Bowtie Roofing out of New Braunfels to get it repaired. The price tag, more than $10,000, a cost covered by insurance. So basically, you've got a $10,000 tarp that's now rotted. The Feltons are part of a growing group of families left with unfinished work. The Better Business Bureau has gotten 82 complaints against Bowtie. Investigators have confirmed at least 37 consumers have yet to get refunds or have the work completed. Is your roof fixed? No. no. Bowtie was sold in April to some of its employees. Both owners are now pointing the finger at each other. In a lawsuit filed against the original owners, Jason and June Roberts, the new owners, Jasmine Norris and her husband Joshua, say the sale of the business was a sham. The lawsuit says tens of thousands of dollars, which the Roberts promised would remain in company accounts, disappeared. The suit goes on to say money was being spent on personal things. In a statement, the Roberts attorney says the Norrises abandoned the backlog of roofs and instead completed newer contracts, ultimately taking the money and walked away from the business. I put my faith and some people that knocked on my door. The BBB says just recently, Joshua Norris started a new roofing company and was looking for work after Hurricane Harvey. I don't want them to do this to anyone else. Yeah. The Feltons are now hoping and pushing for criminal charges. Arzo Dost, KXAN News. The Feltons also say they're working with investigators in Bear County to file criminal charges. Also, the BBB tells KXAN victims have gotten an attorney and f are filing a large class action lawsuit against Bowtie. And there are steps you can take to protect yourself. First off, do your homework, get referrals, price quotes, and confirm all contact information. Also, resist falling for those high pressure sales tactics. Work closely with your insurance company on repairs and ask about more warranties. Also, never agree to pay in full before the job is done.